forget to subscribe and share. Hi, welcome back. We are going to do another Arduino video due to the popular demand. I'll show you how to control a servo motor using Arduino today. Servo motors are special kind of motors which allows for precise control of the angular position. We can turn this to any angle we need with ease. There is a block called set server on in filter box which allows us to control servers easily. Okay then, let's build something useful with this. I am in the need for an automatic cat feed. So let's make one today. This will dispense food for my kitty at regular intervals. It's going to be so happy about this. We will use an empty potato chip can and a small round plastic container for this. Glue, scissor and a sharp tool will be needed. Since I am a bit young to handle these tools, I have asked my father to help me out. It's better you seek some help from an adult too. Start by making a hole in the center of the can to fix the servo arm. Then poke some holes along the desired shape for the opening. It will be easy to remove it afterward. Next, fix the servo to the plastic container lid by making some holes as fixed. Then cut out a similar opening on the lid too. I use super glue to keep the servo arm fixed to the bottom of the can. After fixing the servo and arm together, tighten it with a screw. Finally, you should assemble everything similar to the setup shown here. The hard part is over. Now to do our usual thing, coding. Open crypto blocks and connect Arduino as usual. Today we are going to work in the upload mode. This mode allows to write code that can work alone inside the Arduino. We can see the actual code on the right side that we make using blocks. You can edit this code if you are familiar with C language if you want. Let's start our program with a when Arduino Uno starts up block. The first thing we need to do when Arduino starts up is to rotate the server to the closed position. According to my setup, it's around 120 degrees. At 0 degrees, it's open. You will have to experiment with different values to find out which angles work for you. Let's do this by using a set server on block. Select pin 9 and change the angle to 120 degrees. We are going to need a forever loop as usual to keep this running. Next, we use a wet block to set the interval we need. I am going to set this to 1 hour so I will enter 3600 seconds. We use the same block as earlier to rotate this server open position now. This is only going to remain for a small period. The amount of food released can be controlled by changing this period. We need to close this again. This will keep repeating every hour. Once the code is done, we can upload our program to the Arduino by clicking on the Upload Code button. That's all. It's time to test now.
power this using a power bank so this can be placed anywhere. Wow, it works perfectly. Kitty is going to be so happy. Bye for now. See you next week. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button and click the bell icon. It will help me continue creating videos like this in the future.